Hey you guys, welcome. This is my first video on this channel and I'm literally so excited. As you can see right now, it is dark out because we got up so early because we were so excited to go to a horse auction. This is the second time I've ever been to a horse auction and I am so excited. We're gonna be browsing all the horses there and there's also a tack sale soon, so we'll see if I come home with some tack. So if you are excited to see this horse auction, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's go. Also, I totally forgot to mention that today is New Year's. So happy New Year's, you guys. But basically, this auction is a New Year's auction, so that is really exciting. Good morning, Belle. Hi. Dad found our donkey. Oh. oh my gosh. As soon as we got out, this mini donkey caught our eye right away. We've been wanting a donkey for a while. Look at how cute it is. Mom doesn't really want a donkey, but everyone else does. So we'll see what happens. There are lots of other ponies in this pen. So basically this area right here is where the horses come in when they're first unloaded from the trailer and over time they will move them back before the auction starts. So we went inside, got our number, and grabbed a catalog, and then we were waiting for the tack auction to start because they're bringing the horses in right now. There's really no point in looking at them yet, but the tack auction is about to start. We'll see what we end up getting. All right, take a look here. I am the number Somebody get down to your 28. They were literally auctioning off a box of horsetails. I thought that was kind of funny. I look at this little toy horse. We got some breakfast and then we went over to look at some horses. So right now we are looking at the cataloged horses, the ones that are explained on the papers. This horse here was pretty cute and really curious. It kept sticking its head over. I thought this horse was so sweet. And then this one over here looks a bit older. She is really pretty. I really love her blue eye. And then they also have a paper of her information. You can pause if you want to read it. Over here is another really cute quarter horse. It has a saddle on, meaning it's gonna be ridden through the ring. There's a couple other horses over here they have saddles on, so they're gonna be sold as rideable too. This Cremello was super cute and really sweet and calm. I love the blue eyes, again, so pretty. And then there was this other horse over here. It definitely looked antsy and scared. You can tell the way its ears are moving and it's constantly moving around, not wanting to stand still. This is very typical for this kind of environment. It's a little bit scary for horses that have never been in a place like this before. This mare right here caught my eye right away. She is so stunning. Look at how pretty. I went right over to her and she was so sweet and so curious. She came right up and said hi. I love her so much already. There was another horse in the pen with her too that was so cute and also very curious and he loved the kids so much. Look at this. I just fell in love with these horses right away. They are so friendly. They definitely both look younger. I'm also really surprised how calm they are in this environment. I'm already attached even though I probably shouldn't be. And then we went to look at the next horse. This was a stallion. Look at how pretty this stallion is. He was a registered quarter horse stallion. He is a blue roan. He's literally so pretty. And the next horses were four yearlings. They were so cute, just kind of bunched up in the back. Then we went all the way to the other side of the barn to look at all the horses that were not cataloged. The lighting was pretty bad back here, but this Appaloosa pony was absolutely adorable. And then over here, there was this little baby over here. Definitely very antsy, but again, that's to be expected. We saw this really cool draft team over here. And then the next horse over here was a little buckskin. It had such a kind eye. Then there was a mare in full back over there. And then there were some draft horses over here. There were some older ones and some younger ones in here. 
and we saw some more ponies. Then there were a bunch more ponies in here. Our donkey that we saw earlier was in this pen too. So many cute little babies. And this one right here, I think was a mini mule. It is literally so adorable. There were also so many baby ponies in here. And then we saw some sheep, which I don't understand because this is a horse auction. These ponies are literally so adorable. It's cuteness overload, oh my gosh. And then we found where the majority of the horses are. Here's a better look at this draft team. And then we headed back over to the cataloged horses and saw this little mini. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. The cutest little mini ever. Just munching on its hay over there. And then there were some other really pretty horses over here. I was looking at the back one. It had a blue eye. Oh my gosh, it was so stunning. We're gonna see all these horses go through the ring in a few minutes. I saw some bay foals in the next pen and then of course I had to go back over to these horses and say hi to them. I got some more information on them from reading the catalog, but basically this one right here, her name is Ziva, she is 6 years old and untrained. She knows the basics, but she's not really trained to ride, so she would definitely be a big project. And then this other guy over here, he is a 2 year old gelding, also has little to no training, they are both so sweet, especially for their age i knew both of them were younger and i really wish like i could take both of them home especially the paint but unfortunately i really just can't because it's right before winter and it's not really the time we don't have the setup for it right now but i really just don't have the money or the time to take this on right now and it is so heartbreaking if I was planning on buying them, I would definitely be in the pen with them right now, checking them out, looking them over, checking for swelling, and all that type of stuff. I really hope that they both go to an incredible home and that they get trained really well because they are literally just the sweetest. Then we made our way into the sale ring to get our seats. They're selling some saddles right now, but right after that, they're going to start bringing the horses in to start bidding on them and show them off in the ring. Right now, there were some horses coming in, just kind of warming up and getting used to the area. And along with that, people got to see how they move. When Ziva came in to warm up, I just felt so sad. I really wish I could have gotten her. Okay, now it is time for the bidding. As the horses go through the ring, I'm going to be telling you how much they sell for, and I will be explaining some things that I observe about them as far as training and demeanor and build goes. The first horses that will go through are gonna be the cataloged horses, and then later we're gonna go over to a different area to see all the loose pen horses go through. So the first horses that came in are the four yearlings that we saw earlier. There were three fillies and a stud colt. And by the way, they are acting right now. I don't think they are trained at all. I don't even think they're halter trained. They're all quarter horses. The three fillies went together. They were sold for $700 each and then the stud colt sold for about $150. The next horse that came in was that really pretty roan stallion that we saw before. Apparently, he has a lot of good bloodlines in him. He is a quarter horse. The other foal that is in there right now is his baby from, I think, last year. They auctioned off the stallion first, and he sold for $5,000, which I think is a pretty good price for a stallion that well-bred. Then it was the foal's turn to go through. He was a stud colt, which means they were also selling him as a stallion. He was very pretty and also had the blue roan colors. He sold for $4,100. Next up was this chestnut. This horse seemed really well trained, really calm. He was doing really well. It definitely seemed like this horse had more woe than go, which is what a lot of people want. This horse sold for $2,250. I don't know if you remember this Cremello from earlier, but it was like the calmest horse it seemed and once it got into the ring, it was so nervous. This is why you always need to get as much information as you can because in that stall he was super calm, but as soon as he got out here, he was terrified. This definitely is not a horse that you would want to take to shows unless if you put a ton of work into it. He was sold for $2,300. Now this next horse that came in looked really nice, but I could tell as soon as it came in that it was definitely nervous he was sold for two thousand two hundred fifty dollars it's my registered spot a saddled horse right here six years old a good mare that just needs it down loves to run quick on her feet run, uh, turn on a dime. 
Then Ziva came in and I felt sad all over again. I really wished that I could bid on her because she is just so stunning and I feel such an attachment and I know she has so much potential and that she could be a great horse. So they were auctioning them both off at the same time and whatever the price went up to, you could choose if you wanted one horse or both of them. Ziva, she was the first one to go. She was sold for $1,700, which I think is a really good price for an unridden horse. It was definitely hard to see her go, but I'm sure she went to a great home. And the other guy was sold for $500. This next horse that came in is so pretty, definitely has all the buttons and knows everything. It looks like a lot of work was put into his canter, it looks so smooth and nice, definitely seems like a really well trained horse. And he was sold for $2,000. This is a quarter horse bear with the blue eyes and bald face that we were looking at earlier. She sold for $475. Then the two buckskin foals came in. They are both so cute. The one on the left, she is a filly, and then the other one on the right is a stud colt. They are both so cute. I really liked the filly. She was super pretty, and I would definitely be interested in her if I was looking to buy today. The filly sold for $550, and the other one sold for $225. Then this pretty horse came in. I noticed that he was definitely more woe than go. It took a lot for the guy to be able to get him to go faster. He was sold for $3,750. This is another pretty horse that was sold for $2,000. And then these kids brought this adorable pony in. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. They're showing how well behaved he is. After he was sold, there was so much applause. I actually thought it was pretty funny. He was sold for $1,200. Young ladies, good job. Another chestnut came through. He was sold for $2,100. Then another pony came through. The pony was sold for $1,600. Then this little girl came on riding this older mare. It was so cute. Definitely a dead broke horse. She was sold for $800. Then this little red roan weanling came in. I thought it was so cute and it seemed so relaxed and calm. It was sold for $2,700. Then this really pretty buckskin came in, the one that has the blue eyes. It looked so pretty and he was sold for $2,100 and that was the last horse we watched sell and we went to go wait for the loose pen horses to go through. So the loose pen horses are going through in the same area that they did the tack auction. They're just going to go in and out. If you don't know what a loose pen horse is, it is a horse with little to no information on it. So you don't really know what you're getting. So you have to buy the horse based off of the information that you see right there at the auction. But I'm not keeping track of how much they were sold for because the way that they were auctioning them off was kind of confusing. They all went for about between $100 to $600. And I'm sure you can imagine all the awes that came out of people when this pony came in it was so adorable this tiny baby was super cute these are all the ponies that we saw earlier this one I thought was the cutest just because of how cute its face was and everyone else definitely thought it was really cute too because it went for a little bit more than all the others did Then the donkey came in and unfortunately we decided that today was not the day for us to get a donkey, but he went for about $500. Then after a while, we decided it was time to go back home to all our animals. Okay, we're back home. I'm in my garage right now. I'm gonna give you guys a haul of what we got from the tack auction. But first, I'm going to explain to you guys some things. Now with the donkey, we have been really wanting a donkey. My mom doesn't, but all of us kids do. We ended up not getting any of the donkeys there just because we don't really know their past. And our farrier told us about some donkeys that are for sale near us. So if we do end up getting a donkey, that's probably where we'll get them from. So we'll just have to see. 
But overall, this auction experience was so much fun. And even though there were way less horses there than there were last time, I still got to see a lot and learn a lot from it. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the haul. Okay, so the first thing Isla already has inside, but it's just a stick horse. No one was bidding on it. It went down to $5 and Isla got it for $5. So that's really cool. I did not think that they would be selling stuff like that at the tack auction, but I'm sure the kids will have lots of fun with it. Okay, I've been needing a new leather punch desperately because the old one I have is all rusted and it doesn't really work anymore. So I got this one. It was only $3, I think. I think I got it for $3, so that's good. We have lots of dogs. We have goats. We have all the animals. And so this is something that will always come in handy. It's these little feeding pans. We feed all the animals with these. So it's always nice to have more. I think they were $4 each and we got six of them. So I think that's a pretty good deal. We will definitely be using these forever. And the last thing that I'm most excited about is these halters. My halters are all pretty old and I really like rope halters. So I thought these would be great. They're all bright and fun colors. My horses are all mares. So this will work out really well. It came in a set of three. So I just think I got a really good deal on this. They were $7.50 each. So definitely a really good deal. I think in stores, these are like $20 each or something around there. I'm really glad I got these. these will be really helpful in the future. Okay, that's it for this auction video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and comment down below what your favorite horse at the auction was. Please subscribe so you don't miss any more farm content. There is plenty of more videos to come. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.